KPM. Hi, Auntie. I'm so sorry I'm late. Hi. Oh, hi, it's Chai Yen. How are you today? Yes. Oh, I like your sunglasses. Good, good. Thank you. I like your pink hat too. You hey. look so gorgeous today. Yeah, we can't wait for these holidays, right? Seems we like so long. Yes. Now, let's go check in. All right, sure. The... Let's go. Come. Hi, Hi, welcome morning. to Didet TV Chalets. How Hi. can I help you? Yeah, morning. So we have a reservations for two rooms with sea view. Okay, sure. Could I have your identification, please? Yes, yeah, sure. So I can sure. check you in. Okay. Ah, okay. So reservation under Miss Sim from SMJK Yoke Kwan and Miss Chu from SMK Sungai Besar. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, could you please wait a moment over All here right, while I check you in? Thank right, you. Sure. Oh, finally we can get away from this busy schedule, right? Can't wait. I've been waiting this so eagerly. Right. Yeah, talking about uh, holidays, so what would you consider if you can bring your family over? Basically, there are a lot of interesting places that we can mm -hmm. visit. I'll consider about uh, the things that we can do mm, and also do. perhaps the budget. Mm, I see. Okay. Uh, oh. Miss Sim and Miss Chu, your yes. rooms are ready. Here is okay. your key card. And yeah. you'll be on level two with the beautiful sea view. Oh, thank, thank you very thank much. You so much. And have right. a good stay at Diday TV Chalet. Yes, thank All right. you. Let's go check our room. Thanks for getting away. Hi everyone, welcome to Teras Didi TV KPM. I'm Chris MJ and today we are learning Bahasa Inggris. Now, we also have two lovely teachers with us today. I would like to uh, introduce to you Miss Sim and Miss Yu. Hi teachers, uh, could I invite you over here please? Hi, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, very pink <laughs> today. Um, okay, so teachers, before we actually begin today's class, mm -hmm. could I also invite you, you know, we have to practice our SOPs, right? Yes. So we have uh, special hand sanitizers here, so you can apply uh, for yourselves. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. And oh, I so want to apply <laughs> right. okay, thank, thank you very much. Okay. Now, for today's class, a class isn't a class without classmates, correct? Right? <laughs> yes. Yes. So we do have friends online from SMK Sungai Besar. So let's get to know them. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Give me a wave. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I would like to meet some new friends today. Uh, maybe I could get you to introduce yourself. So how about we start with Fatiha. Hi, Fatiha. Please introduce yourself. Hi everyone. Hi, my name is Nur Fatiha Binti Zulkifli and you can call me Fatiha and I am from SMK Sungai Besar. Okay, hi Fatiha, nice to meet you. And next, uh, I would like, what about Akim? Please introduce yourself. Um, hello everyone, my name is Mama Hakim Hakimi and I am from SMK Sungai Besar. Okay, nice to meet you Hakim. And next, we have Hana. Hi Hana, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. My name is Nur Hana Binti Mohd Saleh. You can call me Hana and I'm from SMK Sungai Besar. Okay, nice to meet you Hana. And next, I have a new friend, Amira. Hi Amira. Hi, my name is Nur Amira Binti Asmai. You can call me Amira. I'm from Paz today at SMK Sungai Besar. Very nice to meet you. And who do we have next? <laughs> Auni. Hi Auni. How are you? Hi, I'm good. My name is Putri Aumi Anisha Tidhi Mamak Fadil. You can call me Aumi and I am from SNK Sunyan Besar. Nice to meet you Aumi. And last but not least, uh, Yu Xuan. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Janin Chuan and I am a uh, Kofi student from SNK Sunyan Besar. Okay, nice to meet all of you, my new friends for today and I'm so excited to learn together with you. But first of all, can I check your energy levels? Are you ready for today's class? If you're ready, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, got two thumbs up. All right. So I'd like to also ask teachers, uh, Miss Sim and Miss Shu, 
what are we learning today? I saw we have uh, luggage, <laughs> we also have uh, beautiful hats and you know, we were checking in a hotel. Right. So what are we learning today? Okay, so today we are actually focused on uh, speaking skill. Okay. So, and the topic obviously is about holidays. <gasps> Yeah. Holidays? Oh, yeah. I love holidays. Everybody loves holidays. Right. Although we cannot have holidays now, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> but we can have it here. <laughs> yes. Okay, what about Miss Yu? So what is our learning objective for yeah, today? Yeah, so basically today mm. the students are going to learn how to give opinions and also how to justify the opinions, state some advantages and disadvantages for each destination. After this, assist an English family to choose the best holiday destination. Wow, I am so excited to talk about holidays yeah. here on, oh, right. uh, on today's class. But before that, how about we take a short break? Because I think I left my passport at home, so oh. I'm just going to be late. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so for those yeah. of you watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back for today's English class here on Teras Didi TV KPM. My ideal family trip, my family likes to go a jungle or waterfall area. It is because my family likes to do extreme activities and outdoor activities. At there, we can release our tension from our studies or work. And other, and other than that, we can know about the natural things. That's all for me. Thank you. Today, I want to talk about my ideal family trip. Firstly, I will choose a beach because I want to get away from the things that occupy my life such as Mm, hobo and Con. Secondly, I want to do some interesting activities with my beloved family. All in all, my ideal holiday would involve visiting less well-known places and spending more time with family. I hope that I can save enough money in the near future to go on my ideal holiday. My ideal family trip will be a one or two day trip. I'd like to go to the beach with my family. We'll spend our afternoon by playing around in the water and eat some seafood at a restaurant by the beach. After that, we could go shopping to try on all kinds of clothes and also to eat some snacks. Overall, it's not about buying things or eating food. Actually, it's about spending my quality time with my lovely family. Hi everyone, welcome back to Teras Dide TV KPM. You're watching with me, Chris MJ. And for today's class, we are learning Bahasa English on the topic of Holidays! Who doesn't love a holiday, am I right? So I have my friends from SMK Sungai Bursa with us online on Google Meets and also two lovely teachers with us today, Miss Sim and Miss Chu. Alright teachers, so how about we start today's lesson? Alright, sure. Thank you. Okay, so for this, today's lesson, the theme is all about people and culture. And then, talking about the learning standards, main skill we are focusing on speaking 2.1.4, which is to explain and justify the point of view of mm. classmates or others. And then, for the complementary skills, we are talking about the speaking 2.1.2, ask about and explain the advantages and disadvantages of ideas, plans, and arrangements. As for the language or grammar focus, we are talking about the words, okay, the phrases related to holidays as well as to justify the opinions. Yeah, and also you can refer to your textbook, your phone 5 textbook, this one, okay, and then uh, which is on page 117, we are talking about this uh, family holiday. Okay, page 117, so yes. friends, if you are watching at home, uh, do take out your textbook and turn to page 117. Alright, good. Okay, so for learning objectives over here, the students are going to learn how to justify okay, at least one opinion. Secondly, to discuss at least one advantage 
and disadvantage for each destination, as well as to make a decision to choose the best destination for an English family. Okay. All right, students, are you ready? If you're ready, please double a thumbs up. Yay! Okay. All right, good job. Okay, so in order to begin the lessons today, I'll start out with a reader. Okay, let's read. I have seas without water, coast without sand, towns without people, and mountains without land. What am I? Hmm. Oh my goodness. Seas without water. It sounds yes. so weird. Who's without sand? Who wants right. to try Is there to anyone answer this who would like to try? Any, any volunteers? Any volunteers? Just raise your hands. Can, can I try? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, sure. Can I try? Yes, yes, Fatiha. Um, I think it's a picture. A picture? A picture. Yeah, it's the very details cool, are here. right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Anyone? Anyone else want to try? Maybe you can answer give them picture. a hint. Should I give you a hint? All right. <laughs> I reveal the first hint for you. Okay. Yeah. You're so GPS. close. So yes. close to it. <coughs> what is it? Anyone? Yeah. I saw oh, I know, I know. <laughs> okay. What is it, Fatiha? Um, it's a map. It's a map. All right. Yes, exactly. Yay. Yay. <laughs> good job, Matia. Good. Okay, good. So over here, okay, now you have a map already. Okay, I want you to guess a phrase or verb that comes up with this definition. To go somewhere to have a holiday, often because you need to rest. Okay, so you can see a phrase or verb over here consists of two words. Okay, and would anyone like to try first? A wild guess. Can I try? Yes. Is it get rest? Get that? Get rest? <laughs> get rest? Mm, <laughs> unfortunately, no. Let me reveal the first hint for you, all right? Okay. okay. So we start off with a G for the first word. Okay. And A for the yeah, second word. You're almost there. Almost there already. <gasps> get what? Get. So who, who else wants to try? Anyone? Anyone? So Aoni's only, only, only first word was it? Close? Yeah, yes. Aoni's first word. First word is correct. Yes, yes correct. So it's get something. Yeah. Okay. Who 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 like to try? Akim, I see you. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Someone raising your hands. Hana, is Hana. it? Get away. All right. Yeah. Yes. Bingo. Get away. Yes. Bingo. Get away. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Good. So the phrase over is get away over here. Okay. <coughs> so let's have some warm up questions over here first. Okay. So there are three cards over here, and I will just review the cards accordingly. Okay. And let's see the first card. Okay, what do you think the main tourist attractions in your country are? Is there any volunteer who would like to try first? Anyone? Anyone? Yeah, okay. Let's like, no, try. If you know volunteers. Try okay, <laughs> okay, okay, Akim, let's, Akim. let's go with Akim. <laughs> um, I think the main tourist attraction in our country is Pulau Sipada at Sabah, mm -hmm. Cameron Highlands at Pahang, and also Kuala Lumpur, the capital city of Malaysia. Oh, wow. good. What about your opinion, Chris? Me, um, main tourist attractions in in Malaysia. Right. For me, I oh. think our beaches are very beautiful. So I mm. think people come to Malaysia for our beaches in Redang, Pulau Perhentian, Langkawi. So right. that is that is what I think. Yes. Okay, cool. So we have our own opinions, and there are yeah. a lot of interesting places for us to visit. Okay. Review the second cut. Are there any parts of your country that you have never visited, but would you like to see? Ooh. What about Amira? Um, the mic. Oh, Amira, I think you're still muted, Amira. Your mic is not turning on. Sorry. Yes, your mic is okay. I think I would like to visit Langkawi because there are a lot of fun activities. For instance, um, scuba diving where mm. I can see a beautiful colors. And I hear there is no chocolate bag. Uh, it's made me interested in going there. Ah. Langkawi. Langkawi. Mm. Yes, All right. Nice Good. Mm. Okay. The third question is over here. Do you prefer to go to places that are popular with tourists or relatively undiscovered? Why? Students, is there anyone who would like to give it a try? How about we ask Yushan? Yushan haven't answered. Yushan, you want to try to answer this? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I prefer places that are relatively undiscovered because it is more quiet and do not need to queue out to enter the game. Mm. Mm. No need to queue up. No need yeah. to queue. Yeah, it's not so that crowded. Yeah. And, and safer also, especially <laughs> right. today. Right? Correct. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> okay, good job, everyone. Well done. 
Good. All right. So next, let's move on to our main uh, focus today. Okay. To justify your opinion, so first, of course, you need to express your opinions, your thoughts on a certain topic. All right, so it is very important, especially for a speaking tests. Right, we have this part two, which is individual long-term tasks, and also part three, a two-way discussion with your partner. So all of this needs your justifications. So it is very important to explain your opinions. Ah, a two-way yeah. discussion with your partner. So isn't that what you were doing with Miss Chu earlier as well? You were discussing about your holiday. Yeah, yes. similar like that. Yes. 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 Okay. All right. Okay. So for our language bank, you can use these phrases to justify your opinions. For example, you can say, "I say this because," or you can say, "I think this is the case because of what," and then you give mm. your reason. Right, and then we have that's my opinion because my opinion is what because of what, right? And we also have my reason for saying this is that, and then you state your reason, and mm -hmm. the last one it comes with I chose this because of your reason. Okay. Yeah. So remember of that, yes, yeah, students. So now let's have these matching games. Where we have this uh, sentence beginning, we have this one sentence here, and then you have to choose the possible endings, and also you need to justify your opinions, your choices, why you choose this ending. So let's see. We have people choose to go abroad for their holidays because, all right, we have four possible endings here. They enjoy traveling to different countries. They want to experience a different culture. They want to see unfamiliar scenery. They like to go sightseeing, and they can dine out in a different place every night. Mm -hmm. So, for example, let's say I choose the second one. Right? People choose to go abroad for their holidays because they want to experience a different culture. culture. And then you have to justify your opinions. You can say, "I say this because normally people like to experience different culture,、mm. immerse themselves in、uh, different beliefs, so that they can learn something new." Right? Okay. okay so that will be your possible、uh, justification. And then we have this exercise. So I would like the students、uh, online here maybe to try on. For example, like. Just now is travel abroad. Now we have people choose to have holidays in their own country. For example, in Malaysia, like why? And you have possible endings here, because a it takes less time to reach their destinations. B the cost of the journey is lower. C it's not necessary to exchange currency. And D they will need to speak in a different language. Yeah.、Mm. So then you can also refer to the textbook. It's exactly the same. Okay. So、uh, maybe we all can ask the students here to try on、sure. and see what kind of、uh, opinions they have and how they justify their opinions. Okay. All right. So who who would like to try first?、Uh, please raise your hands. Anyone? I want to try this exercise first. How about Amira? Amira. Okay, let's go with Amira first. <laughs> Amira. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Do they choose to have holidays? In their own country, because、uh, that cost is the journey is lower.、Mm -hmm. That's my opinion because it's much more affordable just by getting in the car and driving to your destination. We don't need to buy flight tickets, ah,、uh, buses and taxis. Yes, yes. Thank you. Right. Normally, the flight ticket is a little bit expensive,、yeah. right? Yes. Okay. So maybe you can try on another possible endings. Yeah.、Um, how about another student? Who would like to try next? Maybe we can ask Akim. Would you like to try this exercise? <laughs> Akim. Akim. <laughs> um. Yes. Of course. Um. People choose to have holidays in their own country because it takes less time to reach their destinations. I I think this is the case because if they want have, I think this is the case because they want have they want to have a. Quick escape for themselves. So, uh, so long journey time means much more stress they are. Yes. Long time then, duration to get in there、mm -hmm. just add some more stress to them. Hmm. Yes, it's very true because、right. sometimes we can spend one whole day just for traveling. <laughs> yes. Whereas if you're just traveling within your country, yes, you can save so much of time. Thank right, you very much, Akim, for that、uh, for the answer and opinion. So Akim chose A, right, to take less time. Yes. And、uh, how about the last? Last one, last try. Okay,、sure. for maybe C or D. Um, I would like to try. 
I think can I can I also Aoni Aoni would yes, you like to try Aoni. yeah okay people choose to have holidays in their own country because they won't need to speak in a different language mm-hmm. my reason for saying this is because uh, it will be easy to communicate with people and you don't need to learn or understand some words from other language yes okay. that's That's a very uh, good opinion actually because right. sometimes when we go to overseas countries, especially for example Japan, yeah. and you don't speak Japanese, it's very hard to ask for directions right. yes. or you know yes. uh, what to do next and all that. Yeah, so, yeah. it's very hard to communicate. Translating. All right. Okay. Okay. So we just completed this very good exercise. So we started with a good sentence beginning mm-hmm. and then possible endings, and then mm-hmm. we got okay, the right. students to share their opinions on why they 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 felt this way. Yeah. So teachers, how about we take a short break? Yes. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. Yeah, okay yeah, now sure. for. Those of you watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on Teras Direct TV KPM. Welcome back to Teras Dide TV KPM with me Chris MJ Miss Sim and Miss Chu and for today's class we are learning bahasa Inggris and on the topic which I'm sure is everyone's favorite holidays which we are really missing right now actually right. now before the break uh, what we were doing was we were sharing our opinions on traveling locally within Malaysia so we have our students to share their opinions and also justify their opinions on why they think they selected this uh, possible ending mm-hmm. so all right teachers uh, what is next okay, for today's mo- class okay moving on we are going to talk about discussions okay, okay. what are the things that they may encounter during the discussion okay so possibly we may agree or we may disagree with each other's opinions okay, okay? so it's very important for all of us to justify our opinions so that we both fully understand what the other is saying okay Correct. only then we will be able to make our final decision okay more easily to yes. us better. and also um, a reminder for all the students when you disagree with your friends or your classmates make sure in a polite way right Yeah. yeah, sometimes when we have different opinions, yes. it is not it's not meant for argument, right? Sometimes right. we just share different thoughts, yes. and that is why the justifying of the opinion yeah. is important. Yeah, respect each other. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. All right. So for your information, this question is question number three, taken from your textbook. Okay, page one hundred and seventeen. And in order to suit our students' preference, we actually modify the questions. Okay, so all the destination would be in Malaysia. All yeah. right. Okay. Let's have a look with the question. Your English friend's family is coming to Malaysia. They are trying to decide where to take their family for a week's holiday. They want activities for their two teenage children, but peace and attractive scenery for themselves. Okay, without spending too much money. All right, here over there. Later on, I'll show you a few destinations, and then we are going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages for each destination before deciding. Which is the best idea for the English family? All right, students, are you ready? Good. Yeah, students, if you are ready, give me a thumbs up. So we have friends all the way from the UK. Yes. To coming to Malaysia. Okay. All right, good. Okay, so I have three cards. Again, we are going to flip the card as usual. Let's have a look. Card A. War mirror. Avatar secret garden. Hmm. And a bridge. <gasps> all right. Ooh. Okay. Is there anyone who would like to guess? Where is the <laughs> destination? Yeah. Where do you think this is? All right, Fatiha. Fatiha. What is it? 
I think it's located in eating because of which and the warm mural. No, oh, the warm mural. The warm mural. She, she, she said Penang. Penang, yeah. Penang, all right. Is it, yes. Is it correct? Is it? Okay, come. Let's Yay. see. Yes, a city break in Penang. Yes. Cool. I guess the bridge is more familiar, right? Yes, yes. The bridge also is very yeah, the familiar. Penang the iconic bridge. Penang bridge. Okay. okay, and the Avatar Secret Garden, you can take beautiful pictures at night. Okay, mm. let's move on to the second destination. Okay, first card. Everyone was a fortress. Malacca Sultanate Palace. And the third one is River Cruise. Okay, this is, shouldn't be a problem who, for everyone. Who there wants to try to guess? There. there is already a hint there. Yeah. Okay, okay Hana, let's give Hana a chance. Hana, where is this, Hana? I think it is located in Malacca. Malacca. Yes. yes. Okay. A historical tour mm. in Malacca. Okay, moving on to the third destination. A swimming pool. Mm. Okay, with a team. A landscape courtyard. And then a private Ooh. beach. Oh. Hmm. I think someone mentioned this earlier. I think so. Yeah. Like yes. Who, who wants One to try to guess where, 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 where this place is? Or you could give suggestions. Maybe, uh, how about Aoni? Um, I think this place is located in Langkawi. Langkawi. Okay. Langkawi, is it true? Is it is true? true? Let's see. Okay, and yes. all inclusive wow. resort in Langkawi. Wow. Yes, nice cool. one, We have everything over there. Okay, okay, good. So, the next destination over here, Paddy Field. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, the Wishing Tree. If you would like to have some wishes, okay. Last one is a beach. Okay. Paddy Field. It's like so familiar Ooh, to very me. Very familiar. <laughs> it's very near yes. Miss Chiu School also, right? Yeah, Miss yeah. School as well. Um, who wants to try to guess? Uh, Yushan, maybe we give Yushan a chance. Okay. Uh, I think it is a ninja. Sekinchan. Sekinchan. Okay, yes, bingo. Yes. A homestay wow. in Sekinchan. <laughs> Alright, so basically all these are the interesting places okay, for us to assist the English family. Alright, so I'll pass it to Miss Tim. Alright. Okay, so let's have a brainstorming session right now, okay? So just now you have already a uh, look at a city break in Penang. We have pictures also, a historical tour in Malacca. And then we have all-inclusive resort in Langkawi. And the last one, we have a homestay in Sekinjan. Mm. So which ones will be the best for the English family, right? So normally, if you would like to consider a place for your holiday, like Miss Xiu, what would you consider? Like what kind of things do you consider? Okay, first I will talk about, um, maybe think about what are the activities that I can do, okay? Whether it's expensive or affordable or not for me. Mm. And lastly, where can I get a beautiful place to take a picture, right? Yes, right. Okay, so let's have a table here. Okay, so uh, we have divided into three criteria. So for example, we have uh, activities scenery and cost. So students, what you have to do is, you're going to give me at least one advantage and one disadvantage of each criteria, right? You can try, right? Um, and then later on, we will make a decision which one is the best for the English family, right? Oh, so for example, okay. like a city break in Penang. So what kind of activities you can do in Penang? Is there any scenery for you to take photo and is it expensive to spend in Penang, right? So um, we will ask the students to try, anyone? Sure. Who would like to try? Anyone would like to try? How about um, Akim? Mm -hmm. um, yes, mm -hmm. in Penang, isn't it? Um, yes, um, Penang. I uh, I think Penang has a various activities such as go sightseeing on wall mural. But as we know, Penang is a tourist attraction, right? So it will be crowded by a ton of uh, tourists. The sceneries at Penang is also good, but because of the ton of the tourists, it is crowded and we cannot see it at all. Mm. Because, they are, because they are very cheap for the food, especially the local food, but again, it's located in the cities, so the hotel or the accommodation will be high, it will be not be cheaper. Hmm, yeah, that, mm. Akim, that, thank you very much for that opinion. So, Akim shared about That's activities, point, right? scenery, and cost, and cost right. but both advantages and disadvantages. disadvantages. Yes. Okay, okay good, very good. Very good, right? At least we know about it. Like, some are very cheap and then uh, not yes. for certain things, but right? On my opinion, uh -huh. um, actually in Penang, one thing also I do agree with Akim is the, the traffic. 
Right. Because yes. the f so like, like what Akim was sharing is a tourist uh, spot. spot. Right. So sometimes when we go there, it's uh, there's so many people and maybe parking can be a bit difficult to find. So that right. is a disadvantage yeah. as well. Yeah, that's very disadvantage. Okay. Um, yeah, very inconvenient. Okay, how about for number two? A historical tour in Malacca. Anyone would like to try? Alright, who would like to try for Malacca? Anyone? Okay, maybe we can... Okay, oh, you should. Yeah. Good. Okay. You should like... <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, I think the advantage of activity is Malacca is a place that is famous for his history. So uh, we can learn a lot about our country history in Malacca. The disadvantage is people will feel bored with all of his or mm -hmm. history. The advantage of Shinari is we can see many ancient buildings, mm -hmm. but it has too many people, so we need to look it up. The advantage of the, of the course is it has many historical things to buy, but we will pay a lot to buy many beautiful souvenirs. Mm. Mm. All right. Thank you, Shan. Thank you. How about number three, an all-inclusive uh, resort in Malacca? Anyone? In Langkawi. Langkawi. Eh, sorry, Langkawi. Yeah. I keep on thinking about Malacca, <laughs> right? Okay. Okay. Let's Fatiha. go. Uh, Fatiha. All right. Yes, Fatiha. Okay. Um, I think in aspect of activities, uh, they won't feel bored because it's a one week, uh, one week trip, and then uh, it is an all inclusive results uh, resort. So they have a lot of things you can do there. Uh, and then um, the scenery is also beautiful because you have mm. like a private beach. Yes. Uh, but the cost will be a bit high because it is it is an all inclusive resort. Okay. Thank you so much for your opinions. How about the last one? A homestay in Sakinchan. Akim. Okay. Oh no, who? Uh, Aoni. Aoni. Yes, yes Aoni. 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 Yeah. Uh, I think activities in Skinchan is you have a relaxing time because mm -hmm. Skinchan is full of paddy fields. Still, there are not many fun or extreme activities that we can do there. For scenery, you can see the vastness of the paddy fields and feel very calm because you get peace and quiet since Skinchan is in the countryside and it is less crowded. Even so, paddy fields have their own time to grow. If you go when the paddy is still not harvested yet, then you cannot enjoy the view of it. Cost in Sikinchan is relatively cheap compared to the other states mm -hmm. and suitable for people who want a budget holiday. However, they don't have public transport, so you have to provide your own vehicle. <laughs> yeah, that is true, right? Okay, yes. the okay. seafood there is very so cheap. So, before, are we going to select the yes. best one? Yes. yes. Okay, so let's uh, brainstorm more mm -hmm. and maybe while brainstorming, the kids at home as well do pick your best answer yeah. for our English friends. Mm -hmm. So, how about we take a short break first? Is that yeah, okay? Sure, sure, so, sure. we have a city break in Penang, mm -hmm. a historical tour sure, in Melaka, mm -hmm. an all inclusive resort in Langkawi, and a yes. homestay in Sekinchan, yeah. which would be the best to suggest to our friends from in, uh, from UK. Yeah, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back to decide the best vacation spot here on Teras Dede TV KPM. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Which do you prefer? KPM Didet TV KPM everyone, welcome back to Teras Dede TV KPM with me Chris MJ and today we are learning Bahasa English together on the topic of holidays, focusing on speaking, is that right teachers? Yes. So earlier before the break, we actually 
have a we have a few friends, a family coming from UK to Malaysia, and they're asking us for suggestions on where they can visit in Malaysia around Malaysia. So we did share some opinions, and we have four options: a city break in Penang, tour in Melaka, resort in Langkawi, and homestay in Sekinchan. And we heard everyone's opinions and justifications. So teachers, um. Should should we select a place? Yeah, let's move on. Okay, so now is the time for us to make our mm. final decisions on where should they go for a week's family holiday, right? Okay. So you see a city break in Penang, a historical tour in Malacca, an all-inclusive resort in Langkawi, and a homestay in Sakinjan. So when you make the final decision, you can also state that in my opinions. Personally, I think, or you can say, I believe that, and then you give your um, opinions and your justifications. For example, this is a better choice because of what, right? You mm. give your reasons. Okay, so maybe we can ask our students here to select which place, okay, for them will be the best for this English family to have a family holiday. All right. So um, let's have maybe Hannah to try on this. Would you like to try on this, Anna? Yes. Mm -hmm. I believe that uh, an inclusive resort in Langkawi is better for an English family because mm -hmm. they will have an activities like water sports activities and beautiful scenery. Even though it costs a lot, but worth it. Okay. Mm. So for um, it say that Langkawi right is the mm. best. Okay. So How nice. about Alni? In my opinion, I think the city break in Penang is the best choice. I say this because they can enjoy activities there and get mm -hmm. a new knowledge. Other than that, the views in Penang are magnificent and they can get a whole new experience as well. Although the cost is expensive, mm -hmm. I think it is really worth it for them to go on holiday. Wow. All right. Oh, I see. How about we ask one more? One yes. more friend? Okay, right. maybe we can ask one more. Um, anyone would like to try or maybe... maybe Amira have yeah. What about you, Amira? Yeah, Amira. <laughs> okay, um, um, I believe that a uh, city break in Penang is better because mm -hmm. it has to many beautiful places like Bukit Bendera, mm -hmm. with beautiful scenery, and mm -hmm. ch uh, teenage children can take pictures as memories and post them on social media. Okay, yes, social I media for the for the gram, for the right? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, thank so, you so much to our friends right. uh, of giving your opinions. And I just want to say that there is no right or wrong answer. Is that correct? Right. So yes. everybody has their yes. own opinions and their own justification. Yes. yes. As long as you justify your reason, then should be fine. Okay. Okay. So right. let's move along. Okay. So since we come to the end of our lesson, okay. so let's have some reflections over here. All right, students, would like to, you to reflect what you have learned so far. Okay. So, mm. is there anyone who would like to volunteer first? Yes. All right. Akim. <laughs> Akim. Akim. Um, yes. Um, today, I learned about uh, how to express my own decision and justify it. And also, I have learned about some uh, some words from the language bar, some words from the language bar that can be used on my da daily conversation. All right, good. Thank you, Akim. Okay, you, what Akim. about Fatiha's opinion? <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> I think that um, I learned a lot of uh, new words, and then uh, I learned that everyone have their own opinions, and no matter what opinion it is, even though you disagree them, you have to learn to respect it. Mm. Mm. Respecting yeah. other people's yeah. opinions, yeah. very Each good. Other, right. Yes. Okay. So who? Um, what who want to share? What about Hana? Yes, what I've learned today is I know how to justify opinions and structure the sentence from a language bank in a proper way. Like I believe that, then I state my opinion. Yes. Mm, thank you very much, Hana. Um, Yushan, would you like to share your reflections for today? Uh, yes. Uh, I have learned about how to justify opinion and I also learned about how to use a language bank to begin a sentence. Besides that, I also learned about many tourist places in Malaysia. Uh, furthermore, I learned more about speaking skills such as how to say our opinion and make the final decisions. Thank you, Yushan. Who hasn't shared their reflections yet? Anyone? Ah, Aoni. <laughs> <laughs> I only Amira, okay, I only share first. 
what I learned today is that I learned how to justify opinions and know how to make a final decision that suits my friend as stated in the question. Wow, okay. very good, very good. Thank you, Ani. And last but not least, we have Amira, right? Yes, Amira, yes. I haven't shared the reflection. Okay. What I learned is I can uh, identify the pros and cons of each destination in Malaysia. And then I thought I can improve my speaking skills or exam uh, preparation by using a language bank. Wow, thank you. Looks okay, like everyone has you. learned right. new language Something. and improved their speaking All skills. Alright, yes, yeah, good. Okay, let's sum up our lesson for today. Mm -hmm. First, okay. okay, we learned about how to match the given sentence beginnings to the possible endings and then to justify them by using the language bank sentence structures, okay? Okay. Right. And also, we discussed about the advantages and disadvantages for each destination. And for example, like Penang, Sakinchan, and also making a final decision to choose a destination that best suit the English family needs and justify them, right? Right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so, teachers. So, any, any. Um, what about? Maybe you want to share with us also any like final tips for students at home watching. Like, um, what, what is um, you know if they want to justify further, or, like, or what are something that we need to discuss before picking a the destination uh, location. Okay. So. Um, not even, uh, not only the destination. So okay. in your speaking test, if you would like to give your opinions, you must first, okay, give your opinions and then justify your opinions. You need to start your reason by providing the supporting details. Okay, so it's uh, give your opinion and, and justify. Then, yes. Okay, what about you, Miss Yu? Any right. tip for speaking? Okay, be confident when you speak. Okay, just give your opinions, respect your friends. Okay, listen to each other's opinion. And lastly, to justify, make the best decision for them. Very yeah. nice. And uh, first of all, thank you so much, Miss Chu and Miss Sim. So today yeah. we have learned so much on holidays, giving opinions, speaking your opinions right. and justifying it. Also, at the same time, respecting different people's yeah. opinions. Yeah. And also, I just want to say thank you to my friends on Google Meet from SMK Sungai Besar. Did you learn something today? If you did, give me a thumbs up, a double thumbs up. Yes, that is amazing. Once again, thank you so much, Miss Sim and Miss Chu, for today's class. I had a lot of fun. I'm so excited to go holiday after this. <laughs> and uh, for yeah. those of you watching at home, I hope you learned something as well. And I hope you'll be able to give good opinions and good justifications for your speaking after this. This has been Teras Direct TV KPM. We will see you again real soon. Bye, everyone. <laughs>